Hello everyone. So what we are going to do today is learn how to uh, host a DMS server and uh, how to and how to work with it. So our first step would be to find uh, hosting. So uh, I so personally I choose uh, DigitalOcean because uh, their VPS starts from uh, dollars uh, five dollars a month actually. Uh, it's quite cheap for the basic server and uh, you can create and destroy uh, their servers they call it droplets so you can uh, create and destroy as you wish and they don't charge extra for it so I'll just go ahead to digitalocean.com uh, basically I'm not promoting DigitalOcean I am actually a fan of uh, this uh, hosting provider because you don't have to uh, pay for the whole year Unlike other hosting services, you need to pay for the whole year. So I would just log in. So uh, as our hosting is set, next we need to do next what we need to do is um, go go and find out own cloud or next cloud. Basically, these two are the same thing, but. Uh, we would be installing Nextcloud because Nextcloud is open source and if you have a small enterprise, you can use it. You can use it for your enterprise and your employees. But whereas the own cloud, I think it is um, it is an enterprise version and you need to buy the license. So we would stick with the Nextcloud. Just logged into my account and to start with you need to have um, at least five dollars so just um, go to settings uh, add some money uh, you can add you can add um, through your PayPal account so it should not be a problem go ahead and create a droplet It is slow I guess so um, this is basically you can choose uh, what type of operating system you want to use and next uh, you have to choose what kind what is the size of your VPS it has to be uh, we can start with a dollar five and you can add extra volume which uh, which is not required for uh, as of now to begin with so there are two process how to basically install um, next cloud one uh, you can uh, create a server and go to CLI through uh, putty command uh, so you don't have putty installed on the system um, so I have to install it first or till that time we would go ahead and uh, host Java server so I would select next cloud after selecting next cloud uh, I will take the five dollar hosting I prefer the Singapore server and uh, we don't need any of these and I will just name it my cloud so create Let's see what next cloud is. It has been created. You have a lot of things in it, so we would check it uh, once we have it installed. So I would get my putty here. Putty is my SSH client, 
So uh, because the server is uh, Linux based, I would be getting a C. I would be working on a CLI based um, terminal to uh, just a little bit of tweaking is needed. If you are not handy with CLI based, uh, you you don't have to know anything. Just uh, check the procedure and uh, just follow me. Yeah. So once the server is set up, you would get a uh, email on your um, on your registered email ID, and there you would have your uh, in DigitalOcean. There you would have your login. Uh, basically, I have not linked my server IP to um, domain name. Uh, let's say whatever uh, my let's say uh, xyz dot com some dot com. So here I I so I need to as I have not um, as I have not linked. So basically, you have to change the settings in a DNS server, which we don't need. So our login ID would be my IP. And then the password will be in your email. So this is my server IP. Uh, 